بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم اعزائي الطلبه في الصف الاول الثانوي مدرسه الرسميه المتميزه لغات جنوب الكوم معكم الاستاذ حسام عبد الرافو مدرس البيولوجي في المدرسه النهارده هنبدا بموضوع اللي هو الاسبوع بتاع مارس ده اللي هو السكس لين تريكس بيفور ستارت ذا سكس لين تريكس وي ماست ايدنتيفاي ذيس فيجر اي سي مينيو اوف اور ستودنتس ايدنتيفاي ذيس فيجر اند دي سي ذات دي از ايكاريو تايب وات از ايكاريو تايب ايكاريو تايب In the descending arrangement of the chromosomes according to their size, but today we are concerned about the chromosome number 23 only, which is the sex chromosome. The sex chromosome are symmetric chromosome in the human female of the type X. X chromosome is the only one. If arranged according to its size, it should follow six. It should follow seven chromosome. While the six chromosomes, which are number 23 in the human male, are asymmetric. One is the long one in the X, and the other one is Y. So, in the previous session, we studied that we have some abnormal cases of chromosomes, disturbance related to X chromosome, and the trisomy Y, which is Klein filter syndrome. The individual having Klein filter syndrome suffering from presence of X, X, Y. So, X is X existed here which leads to pathogenic syndromes. And Turner syndrome, as we studied in the previous session, contained one X chromosome, which leads to mental retardation and some severe diseases. Other case, we have a disturbance studied before related to the chromosome number 21, which is named Mongolism or Down syndrome. Today, we are concerned about the journey of X chromosome from one generation to another. X chromosome, the female having two X chromosomes. So the female inherits its X chromosome to both sons and daughters equally, while the male having one X and one Y chromosome. So the male inherits his daughter and X chromosome, while it inherits inherit his son and Y chromosome. So we have a disturbance here. We have an equality here. The female for six linked traits having 2X, so the female carry two genes related to any sex linked traits. While the male having the only one X chromosome and one Y, so the male having the only one, only one gene related to the sex linked trait. So any female could be pure dominant for the trait, like XR capital, XR capital, or high dominant XR capital, XR small or recessive one. So the female for six linked traits are having three genotypes. While the male, while the male for these traits, as he is XY, having only one gene. This gene may be dominant or the gene may be recessive. So all males for six linked traits having two genotypes. Let's go to an example of these sexual linked traits. The most common one for sexual linked traits is color, is color blindness. Inheritance of color blindness. What is color blindness? It is the disability to distinguish between the interference between green and red. The interference between green and red. So, if we have a female which with normal vision and this disease never appear in her family. So it will be pure dominant, it's our capital, it's our capital. If it married, if she married a color blinded male, recessive one, it's our small and white. So in this case, due to formation of gametes, we have parents here and the gametes, due to segregation of the chromosomes during meiosis division, we have Ovum with XR capital and another ovum with XR capital, so all ova will be XR capital. While in the male, we have two types of sperms, XR small and Y. So, when fertilization happens, for this couple, for this man and woman, what are the possibilities of appearance of the disease in their, in their offspring? So, we have here XR capital, XR small, and we have here. XR capital and Y. So no disease at all, although the male is diseased. So the percentage of disease diversions, zero percentage. 
What happened if this female produced from this crossing married a man? Married a man, the female that produced the uterus crossing, which is hybrid, married a normal man. What about the disease? What about the disease? Due to this, this female will produce two types of ova, which are capital, which are small. And this male, as usual, produces two types of sperms, X and Y. This crossing will provide us with the following possibilities, which are X are capital, X are capital. X are capital, X are small. X are capital Y and X are small Y. What is this? This is a disease the male. Although both parents have no disease, the disease appears in the office field. And we can observe that none of females are having the disease. Why? Half of males are having the disease. This is due to the high of the female. The high of the female. So, if we look at the previous one, this disease demand gives that gene to his daughter. And his daughter transferred directly to her son. So we can imagine that. In all six linked traits, if a man having a genetic disease, the man will through this disease to his grandson, to his daughter, not to his son. What happened if this female, which is hybrid, so capital is so small, married a diseased male? It's our small and wide. What is the possibilities of appearance of the disease? Gametes will be two types. It's our capital, it's our small, and the gametes will be it's our small and wide. So the product will be it's our capital, it's our small, it's our small, it's our small, it's our capital and wide, it's our small and wide. So what about the issue here? We will find that it is clearly that this is a bit in both males and females, and even both of them. So we have the ratio of one healthy female and one diseased female. One healthy male and one diseased. So the disease appears 15 percentage. You can replace the letter R capital with the letter C capital. And you can replace the letter R small with the letter C small. Doesn't matter. So to, to the disease to appear in the females, we must have a high with the female and a disease the male. Let's go to the next point. What happens if we have a color blind female? It's a small, it's a small. Here we leave the letter. To prove that it doesn't matter but in the letter. The size is important, capital or small. X is small, it's small. If crossed with healthy male, what about the disease? Can you imagine that? I see one of my students say that all males will be diseased. All males will be diseased and all females will be healthy. So let's remove that. The garment will be X small and the garment will be X capital Y. So we have the product as the following. X capital X small, X small and Y. So all males are diseased. All males are diseased. So, we talk about the color blindness, you can't distinguish colors. You can't distinguish colors, but it doesn't matter. It is not necessary to be a fashion designer or a pilot. We have other severe diseases related to this problem, like the hemophilia. Hemophilia. What is the hemophilia? The hemophilia is the vulnerability of blood fluidity. This ability of the blood to make clotting. This ability of the blood to stop bleeding. Due to absence of a gene responsible for forming the growth thrombin, growth thrombin protein, which is stop bleeding. So it is the same case. Transfer same way. All we have to do, we just replace C capital with H capital for new failure. H small instead of C small. So the healthy human will be XH capital, XH capital, that's the name. XH capital, XH small. Hybrid female, XH small, XH small diseased female. Y males will be XH capital Y, XH small Y. It is a severe one. Transfer the same way, same rules. 
but we have a very, a very severe case. What is this one? It is muscles atrophy. Muscles atrophy. Muscles atrophy. Is the six-legged recessive lethargy? Lethargy. You remember the word of lethargy? The are genes we call this, this for the embryos in different stages of growth. So we have a later gene here that symbol with M small. This disease transferred due to one case. We have a hybrid female from the disease, except in mechanical normal muscles, it's in small atrophied muscles, but also with the normal name. What happened in this case? What happened in this case? So we have an ovum XM capital and another one XM small XM capital sperm Y sperm. Let's go through this. F1 will be XM capital XM capital XM capital XM small XM capital Y XM small Y. Let's go through the phenotypes. We have a normal female, a carrier female, a normal male. A diseased male that die before maturation. Die before maturation. So this disease never appears in females. Never. Because a parent of this gene in females needs a gene from the ovum and the other one through the sperm. And all, all males having this disease dead before the maturation. So this disease appears only in males. I wish you have a good lesson and you got all points and thank you